Welcome to another exciting edition of Travel Guide. If you are new here consider subscribing. Today we will be visiting the Manhattan Bridge NYC. The Manhattan Bridge is a much quieter walk than the Brooklyn Bridge as it doesn't seem to have the tourist influx that is enjoyed by that bridge. The Manhattan Bridge is a suspension bridge that crosses the East River in New York City, connecting Lower Manhattan at Canal Street with downtown Brooklyn at the Flatbush Avenue extension. It is one of four toll-free bridges spanning the East River. The other three are the Queensboro, Williamsburg, and Brooklyn Bridges. He told that when you get to the bottom they hit you with a major fine, and it can feel like you are drowning. The Manhattan Bridge was the last of the three suspension bridges built across the Lower East River, following the Brooklyn and the Williamsburg Bridges. What if you could permanently shift the quality of your life and the impact you have on it? This isn't just blind motivation or positive thinking. These are real tools that will be learned on a cellular level to ensure you're ready for whatever life has in store for you. AXA Zero it's the freedom to create a life of your choosing, and make a significant impact during your time on this earth. AXA Zero whether it's your relationships, your career, your family, or your overall quality of life, you are at the center of it all. Where else than to get a good view of Manhattan than the Manhattan Bridge? Must see for tourists, and a good place to begin your NY adventure. This 108-year-old 2018 suspension bridge is a forerunner of modern suspension bridges, and a great example of superstructure engineering in the early 1900s, and is rightfully listed as a National Historic Civil Engineering Landmark. If you look at where the lines connect to this big structure, there is a stone in which it shows who built the bridge. While the subway traveling on the bridge you can get cell phone connection for sufficient time to make a short phone call, send, and receive text messages and get 4 grams internet connection. The Manhattan Bridge is a suspension bridge that crosses the East River in New York City, connecting Lower Manhattan at Canal Street with downtown Brooklyn at the Flatbush Avenue extension. There are not a lot of tourists like the Brooklyn Bridge so you could go really fast, and not worry about pedestrians. Something to see, always things to do, tons of restaurants, with so much variety of food, really more than you can eat. It is great having a pedestrian sidewalk just for pedestrians, and no bikes running you over, so it is relaxing to stroll across, and take in the awesome views. You walk in the center of the bridge on a secure wood path that has a walking lane, and bike lane. It is always a pleasure to display it on every angle. If you are doing a boat tour I would recommend definitely to do a family selfie with it in the background as you should have as well downtown Manhattan, and the Brooklyn Bridge too. The bridge did get a makeover years ago. But if you ask me, there is still a lot of work to be done. Definitely get some cool views from here. Had a good NYC vibe with the smell of fresh spray paint, and some hooligans jumping the chain link. The Manhattan Bridge was the last of the three suspension bridges built across the Lower East River, following the Brooklyn and Williamsburg Bridges. The New York Times X Zero criticized the name as meaningless, and that the Manhattan Bridge's name would have geographical and historical significance if it were known as the Wallabout Bridge. Eta Euro TMS opened 247 of course except during times of construction, and is offers beautiful views of the city during any time of the day, especially during sunrise, or sunset when the sun peaks through the NYC skyline, or at night when the skyline is all lit up from the lights of all the buildings. Though Eta Euro TMS nice for a leisurely walk, when the weather gets warmer, the walkway is packed with people as it is shared between walkers and cyclers, so it is not that enjoyable and favorable for a walk during that time. In the same way, the bridge has a pretty high elevation, so it gets fairly cold during the winter and the beginning of spring. Depending on when you go you can either expect great scenic vistas and low amount of people, or terrible weather with crowded grouchy tourists. The walk path on the western side of the bridge facing Lower Manhattan offers amazing views of New York's iconic skyline and Brooklyn Bridge, making for a scenic stroll, any time of day. Bring earplugs too because the noise coming from the passing trains can become unbearable, especially when there are several passing by. This behemoth bridge stands next to another behemoth bridge that also connects Brooklyn to Manhattan, but is called the Brooklyn Bridge. This Manhattan Bridge not only support cars and trucks crossing, free of charges, but also is the main artery for trains crossing between the two most populated NYC borough. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to subscribe, and leave your comments below.